Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Well, welcome back to Grace Today. Um, as we say in the intro of these all the time, the purpose of this series is to encourage you with the Word of God. And so we're starting a new series where we're going to go through the book of Proverbs together. Now, I'm not sure exactly how many verses we'll cover in every episode. I know how many we're going to cover today. Uh, but each day we're going to look at a section of the Proverbs and uh, have some devotional thoughts on that that would hopefully encourage us and uplift us as we go about our day trying to live in godly wisdom. So today we're going to start by looking at Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. As always, follow along with me in your Bible as I read Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to discern the sayings of understanding, to receive instruction in wise behavior, righteousness, justice, and equity, to give prudence to the naive, to the youth, knowledge, and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase in learning, and a man of understanding will acquire wise counsel, to understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Here we have the introduction to the book of Proverbs. And what I want to highlight for you today is some of the benefits that are expounded upon here as benefits for studying Proverbs. In this section, in these first seven verses, Solomon really gives us the reason why he is writing. He is writing this book or collecting these Proverbs as a way of training his son for wise living. And as he's doing that, he shows us the benefits to understanding this biblical godly wisdom. And I just want to highlight a few of them for you today. First is that we will grow in discernment. And this is one of the great needs of the church today to grow in discernment, to grow in being able to understand the difference between truth and error, and specifically the difference between God's truth and what looks like truth. And that is really the the key to discernment and biblical wisdom helps us to grow in that kind of discernment so that we can understand what is true from God's word versus what looks true from the world. So one of the great benefits that we'll see as we go through this book is a growth in discernment. The second is to understand true righteousness, justice, and equity. A lot of people today in our climate, in our world, in our culture are talking about righteousness, justice, and equity. If we want to understand those things truly, the best way we can understand them is to understand them through God's Word. And Proverbs will teach us a great deal about true righteousness, justice, and equity, not the world's counterfeits for these important doctrines. And then the last thing I want to highlight to you is Studying the book of Proverbs will help us to grow in maturity, to grow from being those who are naive and easily misled to those who live in wisdom and walk in wisdom. And then, of course, this section, this introduction hits us with this powerful truth that the basis of wisdom, if we are to pursue wisdom, wisdom from the book of Proverbs, wisdom that is biblical and godly, it has to start with a fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, is a true, reverent, holy fear for the God of the universe, the loving Father who created all things and who upholds all things by the power of His hand and who sent His Son to redeem us. If we are going to grow in wisdom through this study of Proverbs, it won't just be from studying the Proverbs, but we have to come in with a healthy growth or a healthy understanding of the fear of the Lord a righteous reverence for God. And that's why I'm excited both our men's and women's group are going to be going through a book here uh, on the fear of the Lord. And I would encourage you, if you haven't already plugged into the women's, uh, the ladies who book lunch or the men's study on Saturday mornings, um, get into that because they're going to be looking at a book on the fear of the Lord. And as we do that, we will grow in wisdom. Well, I hope you're excited for this new series of Grace Today. I pray that it is an encouragement to you and that we as a church will grow in good, godly wisdom as we go through this. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.